Hello again, this is RPG7. Now we are going to install DOSBox. Well, right now it says an unknown publisher, but we are going to run the installer found in our download file. You've got your EULA. You might want to skim through this. The last one that I signed for Camtasia sold my soul to the devil, so, you know. Gotta be careful. Technicalities, technicalities. Yeah, yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Next, we want the core files and the desktop setup might not, not be too shabby. And we are going to click next. Many of you will install to the default, but I prefer to install it to my E drive. I have it set it up so that if my hard drive if one of my hard drives ever crash, specifically my my operating system drive, my data is safe. So I'm going to install. Now the install might take slower on your computer. I have a pretty fast computer, so my install is completed. Once the install is done, we can delete the installer. And while we, you know what? While we're at it, let's hold on to the Elder Scrolls because we might want to keep that handy. Now we are going to go start computer. All right, better yet, I created the desktop one. Yay, oh no. All right, my dust box decided to launch in full screen, which means that I have to reset my settings. Reset options. Reset. Okie dokie. Now, what we're going to want to do to play the Elder Scrolls Arena is we want to open up our options. This opens up an INTI file. And we are going to want to change a few things. Now, some of you playing in full screen might be better so you want to set full screen equal to true for my videos I won't because setting full screen to true interferes with a few things if you ever want to record with fraps you're going to have to set output to open GL so I'm going to do that for myself right now. Now, down here, we want to set our CPU to dynamic. And our cycles to max. This is probably going to tax your computer a little bit, but if you are playing a game like this you probably aren't going to be running anything else in the background possibly Skype or fraps or something but you usually want to set this to max otherwise you'll feel like you're slugging through the game because your CPU is not fast enough to run it so you're gonna set that and I don't think there's much other we need here that we can't take care of later so we're going to save this and I will be back in a minute in DOSBox and I'm back I am sorry about that for the brief delay I had to render the old footage and hop into fraps now that we're in fraps we can or I should say more of DOSBox we can actually install it so First thing you're going to notice is you probably don't know what the hell is going on. If you do, you've probably already skipped these videos into the first part of the Let's Play, but... Any which way, the first command we need to tell it is we need to tell it what... Where are... How do I explain this? What hard drive we have the game in. So, we're going to issue that command by typing the mount command. We need to mount the drive type C, and I installed it in my E drive. 
Now, if you put it in your C drive, instead of typing E, you're going to type in C. But, that's not the case. So, I am going to mount E. C drive is mounted as local directory E. Now that that's over, we need to tell it to change from drive Z over here to drive C, which is done by typing capital C colon. Enter. Now we're in our C drive. Now we need to tell it to get to DOS. So we are going to type CD. D O S. Now you might have changed the name of the folder that you installed it in. Hopefully you put it in the root of your drive, which would be C slash DOS or E slash DOS or I don't know, can you have an X drive, X DOS? Okay, so we're going to give that C DOS. It's in the DOS. Now we need to tell it to change directories, or CD, into Arena. Now, we need to open up the install. Now, we need to check to see the settings. Now, I am just double checking the manual so I can tell you if the settings are right or any or there or bar. if the if the settings are right on your sound card you want to keep it as sound blaster or sb1 compatible io 2220 rq okay that's good if by any chance yours aren't you're going to go use your with your arrow keys scroll well, it's right here, but configure game, select sound card, and make sure it's on here, here, and that's there. You're just going to have to change these two and make sure they're there. Alright, so that is the install of it. You're going to keep on clicking done until you're out, and then exit. You want to hit yes. It will take you back to the cleared screen with C dot arena. And when I return from shaving my dog, I will start playing the Elder Scrolls Arena. But for now, I will see you soon.